special edition of Biz Asia America. I'm Elaine Reyes. We begin with breaking news out of the United States. This afternoon, there were two explosions in Boston, Massachusetts, near the finish line of the biggest event in the city, the Boston Marathon. We'll have more throughout the rest of the hour. Um, we want to tell you that two people are confirmed dead, dozens injured. We want to check in with our CCTV reporter, Emily Drew, who has a recap of the story. More than 20,000 people from 56 countries began the legendary Boston Marathon Monday morning. About half the runners had finished the race when two simultaneous explosions about 50 to 100 yards apart rocked Boston's Copley Square near the finish line. Officials with the U.S. Federal Bureau of Investigation declared the incident a terror attack and the Federal Aviation Administration imposed a no-fly zone over the city. The first two blasts occurred around 2.50 in the afternoon local time, less than an hour after the men's marathon winner crossed the finish line. Spectators and runners cleared the scene immediately. Video and still pictures of the blast showed sidewalks smeared in blood and covered in debris. Plumes of smoke around the spectator stands near the finish line rose several stories high and then fogged over the end of the race. Reports say some injured were immediately taken to a medical tent meant for runners. In Boston, Washington, D.C., and New York, authorities took immediate precautions, pushing their security to a heightened state of alert. The White House went on lockdown, which is standard protocol when a suspected terrorist incident occurs anywhere in the country. U.S. President Barack Obama directed his administration to provide any assistance necessary to Boston's officials in their investigation of the blasts. Boston's Kennedy Library and some subway lines in Boston shut down for the rest of the day. The city's schools and many businesses were already closed for a holiday and the Boston Marathon, the world's oldest annual marathon. Emily Drew, CCTV. About two hours ago, U.S. President Barack Obama spoke out on the Boston explosions. He said security across the United States would be increased as necessary, and he noted how such tragedies bring Americans together. The American people will say a prayer for Boston tonight, and Michelle and I send our deepest thoughts and prayers to the families of the victims in the wake of this senseless loss. We don't yet have all the answers, but we do know that multiple people have been wounded, some gravely, in explosions at the Boston Marathon. I've spoken to FBI Director Mueller and Secretary of Homeland Security Napolitano, and they're mobilizing the appropriate resources to investigate and to respond. I've updated leaders of Congress in both parties, and we reaffirm that on days like this there are no Republicans or Democrats. We are Americans united in concern for our fellow citizens. We still do not know who did this or why, and people shouldn't jump to conclusions before we have all the facts. But make no mistake, we will get to the bottom of this, and we will find out who did this, we'll find out why they did this. Any, respons uh, any responsible individuals, uh, any responsible groups will feel the full weight of justice.